This is the Flick5 channel. If you've never been here before, welcome. And if you have, welcome back. Today on the Flick5 channel, we are going to be looking at these little tiny amplifiers and I'm going to tell you if they are worth getting or not. I bought a whole bunch of them to try them all out because I've just they're so inexpensive and I'm kind of blown away because my whole life I've been dealing with these big gigantic receivers. These big gigantic receivers that weigh a ton. I've been hauling these things around, moving around my whole life. And I thought the bigger and heavier it was, the louder it probably would be. The power and the sound that I get out of this is so impressive. And this is so lightweight, there's nothing to it. And it just hooks up to your phone Bluetooth. It's got a couple simple options, a power switch, you or AUX in, um, you got a USB sound, maybe a hard drive or something like that to get music into it, not sure. I'm gonna use Bluetooth. Let's go to our Bluetooth and we'll see if it will discover this. There it is. Da, 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 da. That means that we're connected. First of all, disclaimer, I know that off of my Rode microphones and the settings I have on my camera, this isn't gonna sound great. You're just gonna have to take my word for it, whether it's good or not. Right now, I have four speakers hooked up. I've got these JBLs and then I've got these KLH speakers. I believe that these are 10 inch drivers um, and the tweeters, they sound amazing. They're really loud and really solid sound. Here we go, I'm gonna play this. A little volume knob up here. That is insane. It is insane how good these are. This little thing can drive these speakers so well. It's crazy, it's just, it's mind blowing. This sounds really good. By the way, <clears throat> this is a 50 by 50, which means we're getting 50 watts per channel. We have two channels, makes a lot of sense because it is really loud. This one, what's the name of this? Fuquam, Grom. F Q C M O G U Fuqua. I have no idea. Fuqua. Put all these uh, in the description below so you'll be able to check them all out. I got all of these on Amazon. Let's clean up my mess. This is a NoTech two channel. NoTech. It's not even written on the thing here. NoTech is what they called it. Again, this one does not come with any cords. Look at this big, gigantic power converter, 24 volts. That's what, ooh, 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 24 volts, it's so much bigger. That means that this is gonna be louder. Whoa, whoa, did you see that spark? Holy, did you see that? Watch this, let's see if you guys see it. Ready? Every time. This is not safe. Spark. Okay, let's see if it'll not blow up. I'm glad I don't have a gas leak or something. We have a volume bass and treble knob here, which I thought was kind of cool when I was looking for these. So far, the two I've listened to, I really wouldn't have wanted to adjust very much. We're gonna go for it. Try this out, but here we go. Let's turn it on, ready? We didn't blow up. Powered on. Let's see if we can get it to connect to Bluetooth here. One page of instructions. Son of a bitch, no Bluetooth connection. They all said that they had Bluetooth. Ooh, did you hear that? Ooh. Whoa, whoa. This thing is sounding like it could be a badass. So you can see, I just put all the knobs so they're sitting right in the middle. Again, we have these cords that have to go to my phone and plug in my phone. We've got the left and the right channel. Here we go. This is the middle. Let's go! So I'm gonna crank up, I'm gonna crank up the bass. I'm 
gonna just turn this down so you guys can listen to it like this, but you can really tell when I turn up the bass. It gets really bassy. I can turn up my treble, you can hear it get really tinny. Aside from this being a fire hazard and sparking, let's try it again just for fun with all these other chords plugged into it. When I plug this in, what will it do? Sparks! Come on! Okay, so other than that, I don't know. I wouldn't. It's a badass, I'll tell you. That, that's my bottom line. I do love having the bass and the treble. But again, the ones I've listened to that don't have that are pretty well balanced. And I would probably never crank up the bass as high as I had it. Will I use it? I don't know. I don't think so. The fact that this thing has 24 volts going into it and every time you plug that power source into it, it sparks. I'm just going to say no. I wouldn't use this on a daily basis. And plus I have to plug my phone in. The whole idea with this for me was I wanted to have something that would connect Bluetooth and this one does not. And for the money, it seems like you would get at least an RCA cord or something. I'm just trying to give you my honest opinion of each one of these. If you, if somebody's looking at these, it kind of smells like smoke in here now. I wonder if that thing is going to catch on fire. It'll make this a really interesting video as I'm running off the set and there's flames coming up behind me. This one comes with a couple of cords. So you can plug your phone into it. You got the RCA to your phone or whatever it is that you're using. Good for these guys, giving us some cords. Let's see if this one sparks. Does not spark. That's really good. This is a knob sound uh, Bluetooth version. It is the Hi-Fi DSP version. This does have a headphone jack on the front so if you didn't want it coming out your speakers that would cancel it out and go to a headphone and you have an AUX in which is kind of nice. Push the knob and hold it on the top. That's it powered on. Whoa there it goes. Indicating that we can go ahead and connect to the Bluetooth. Looking for the device and it shows up right away. NS2. It paired and I could tell because the little light went solid. We're still blinking on the volume here, but it didn't make any kind of indication noise. That was kind of a bummer. All right, let's go ahead and listen to some. Let's go! Wow, this one is loud. It goes from one to 31. That's the volume selection. And it's got a, no a little notched knob on here. So it's kind of like goes each little notch is one, one setting. So you can see it kind of as I hit each notch, it's turning it up one volume point. So instead of cranking it up to 11, you can crank it up to 31, 31. Wow. And it sounds really good, I'm not kidding. Let's go! And the one thing I'll say for sure is that it sounds really good all the way up to 31. I would think that you would start losing sound quality as you got louder and louder, but you don't. It sounds really good all the way through. That is the Knob Sound DSP. Knob Sound Audio. It says it's a Knob Sound Doke. Whatever the Doke is. D-O-U-K Audio. Knob Sound NS2. So this was 200 watts. So it's probably 100 watts per channel. It definitely has sounded louder than anything else I've listened to. Makes total sense. Bluetooth, 2.4 wireless power amplifier. Super impressed with this one. Go knob sound. You guys are rocking. Next up, we are going to check out the knob sound tone. I believe it's called the Doke tone, or maybe Doke is the type of audio they have. Look at all these cool chords. They brought a lot to the table here. You get RCAs, you get headphone jacks. Here we go. Powered up. Kind of gives you all your lights and indicators. You got a power button up here. You got a knob here with a button if you push down on it. So that will toggle you through your different modes. This is pretty nice. It's got RCA's in here. It's got a headphone jack and an input right here. And it also has a USB input as well. Power button on the top right here. 
I'm gonna press that and hold it. There we go, we're powered on. Looks like it's gonna default to the, the headphone jack up here or the input jack right here. Let's go ahead and push the button and toggle it to the Bluetooth. The Doke Audio Tone. So this is the Doke Tone. So we are connected. It didn't give me any audio indication that we actually had connected. Did like that one that you actually, when you connect, it kind of at least gave you a little tone. Let's take a listen. So I got the volume all the way up on my phone, just to let you guys see this. That's kind of cool, it actually cut itself off. It was getting super loud, like way too loud to listen to but it actually shut itself off when it hit that face. Um, it does have a limiter on it, that's kind of cool. At least it's not gonna blow everything up. Um, it's really loud, I'm gonna give you that. This thing has got a lot of power. I don't like the form function as much as the other one that we looked at, which was a knob sound as well. This was the Doak Audio. It's much thinner which I like. Got the same kind of inputs on the front. So you've got your AUX and your headphone jack. Um, the only thing this one doesn't have is the RCAs like this one has here, but I could live without that. They're both Bluetooth. It doesn't have the disco lights. The thing I do like about this is it does have the, the volume indicator right here where this one you really don't know what the volume's at. In order to even get these to register, it's gotta be so loud. This one is just bulky. I don't like the front part here that's kind of got this fake stainless steel plastic thing. It's all scratched up. I just got it out of the box. If I had to choose between the knob sound, if you need the RCAs, then definitely this one is the way to go. If you don't need the RCAs, this one is a 100 watts per channel. This one they say is 50 watts per channel. I think this one was louder. This one was almost as loud and it was to the point where I had to turn it down because it was too loud. Okay, next one, Doke Sound Audio again. Check this one out. This one is a knob sound as well. It's smaller by a lot. Look how tiny that thing is. You got your inputs. This has a USB input on the back, a power. It's got your plugs for your speakers. You got a power and you have some sort of a bass dash M, which I'm guessing would be kind of a tone adjustment. Um, and then your volume is right here. I'm gonna put it in the middle just so I don't blow out my speakers. It comes with these cords, so you do get cords with it. It's got a USB, so you can plug in USB, headphone to headphone jack there. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Power's right here, press that. Bluetooth mode. Whoa. Bluetooth mode. It's flashing. Let's go ahead and get to the Bluetooth here. There it is, knob sound NS10G. Da, 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 da. I like that. It tells me I'm connected. And also we know about where the volume is because we could hear it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to our demo and we'll play this. This is right in the middle. Let's go! How can they put that into this? I'm blown away. Just in case you guys don't realize this, I'm driving these huge, massive speakers I have back here and these smaller JBLs all at the same time. So this is not just me driving two speakers. This is so loud. Let's go! And my phone's not all the way up. This is crazy. All right, I wanna see what this bass 
dash m does. So it's a manual button that you can push and you can crank up more bass, which kind of sounds a little bit like you put your speakers under water. It doesn't sound that good. But right out of the box, man, just the... This is like insane. I gotta find out. This is the knob sound, Doke Audio. This is the 20. So this one, so they're saying output is 60 watts. So 60 watts for something like this. I gotta say, knob sound, knob sound, knob sound. So we have the smallest, we have the mediumest, and we've got, oh, we've got the biggest here. This thing sounds incredibly good. I got it cranked up all the way. There's no audio coming through. There's no feedback. I don't hear anything except for my computer running over there. You guys get it. I really think this is probably just as good as this or this. I can tell these ones are a little bit louder, but they are not something that I would, it would never be something I would use that loud probably, but I think this is still my favorite, but I am very, very impressed with this. If you just run in some speakers in your house, this is gonna be way more than enough. And it's so small. How do they pack that much into this? I just don't get it. I understand that you guys are not going to be able to hear this as well going through my camera and my microphone. It's not going to sound nearly as good as it does here. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. All three of these knob sounds are pretty good. The bass attack. Ooh, hi-fi. I think that all of them have said hi-fi, but none of them have said bass attack. This is what actually got me looking at these in the first place because I kept getting this notification on my Amazon saying, hey, you might want this. And look at me now. I did want it and here I am showing it to all of you guys. IFIMI180BT. So I imagine it's a Bluetooth and it's maybe 180 watts total. Power consumption is 100 watts. It's 100 watts. So we're gonna call it 50 watts per channel. The base attack. I went to all the work last night and I soldered up these really nice connections so I could show you guys all of these things very quickly. And this thing comes along and ruins it for me because I can't use these anymore. So I'm doing this for you, just so you know. Let's plug the power on and see if this one sparks. No, no sparks. The bass attack. I can't wait for this bass attack, you guys. This is gonna be cool. I kept seeing this on Amazon. It kept popping up and I was like, oh, let me try this out. There's no way this thing can do what my big amplifier can do. This one, ooh. Da -da -da -da. Does that mean it's connected? I don't know. Now I've got a flashing red light around here. Here it is, the MN180 Bluetooth. We're gonna connect it up. Ooh, see, I like that. They should all give you a little indication like that when they're connected. That's incredible. Let's see, what do we have on our treble and bass? Let's put both of these here. This is insane. So again, I can't believe all of these things can do this. Now this does have a bass and a treble. I had my bass turned up a little bit. That's why I was but all the way through the volume, it sounds really, really good until just about the very end. That's all the way up. Okay, so I have my bass here. Let's turn it on a medium and let's see. No bass.
going to say the bass is a little bit muffly. It kind of just sounds like it's it's not sharp. It doesn't. It does sound pretty good if you just keep those in the middle as far as the the bass and the treble. I wouldn't mess with those. Um, let's talk about the inputs and the features on this. You've got your RCAs in. You've got a USB. I don't think that's an in. I think that's got to be like a charge port. So if you have your phone plugged in or something, you could charge it off of this. Pretty good idea. Power button, bass and treble and volume. And then you've got this little toggle switch on the bottom here. So you can actually flip it if you're in iTunes, which I'm not. Let's go here, play. So I'm playing this music, which I probably can't let you hear. Flip it. So it works. So I can flip through my songs just by using that thing. That's pretty cool. I could see this being cool, like to mount underneath a table or something, like if you could just mount it here, but then all your buttons and everything are upside down. Not that that really matters, but. Or put volume, bass, and treble on the top too, the other way, and then really confuse people because then they would never know which way it was supposed to go. Overall, you guys, I think these things are cool. I, I haven't found one that I absolutely hate, which I kind of thought it was a joke. I really did. I thought I was going to get these and it was just going to sound terrible. And the first time I hooked one up, the volume on my phone was down to about two notches and I turned it up and you could barely hear it. And that's what I expected. I was like, oh yeah, it was, it's a joke. These things don't work. This one is the SMSL. Comes with the power source and that's it. No cords with this one. Some of these I really like because they come with cords. You have an RCA and you've got your inputs here for your speakers, your left and your right, but there is no other way. I think RCA is the only way in besides Bluetooth. They have a special power cord for this one that will only work with their power source. Let's use their power then, I guess. Ooh, look at me. I have my own power source. Hey, nobody else can use it. Me, 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 me. We have a volume knob. We have a power button. Power's on. Volume's here. I'm going to go ahead and hook this up Bluetooth. So I'm super wrong. This has no input. This particular one, the SMSL version, it's pretty cool. I gotta say it looks cool. It's got a nice body to it. But the only way that you can get audio into this is through this RCA jack on the back. There is no Bluetooth on this one. This did not come with any cords to connect either. So kind of disappointing overall. And let's get back to our music. So play. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this one is not that great. It seems like it cuts out. I, so this one is a 50 by 50 as well. So you're getting 50 watts per side. Um, I don't know. It's okay. It's not worth the money. It looks nice, but you gotta plug it in. You can't use Bluetooth and yeah, that's my two cents on this one. Get rid of all these cords. <sighs> I guess I get it, because this is giving you surround sound. It's giving you Bluetooth. It's giving you all of the switches for your HDMIs. I have, what do I have on here? One out and four in, so I can run my PlayStation and my Apple TV, whatever it is that I can, I'm running. I could run it all through here. But for being like a Bluetooth speaker setup that you can actually plug your speakers into and keep my old speakers, they sound really really good like a home entertainment center would sound you're not gonna get surround sound you're gonna get left and right stereo and that's it it's whatever you want to have as an input um, this one I was kind of surprised it doesn't have any kind of like headphone jack or anything it's only the RCA's in and Bluetooth but I think most people that are buying these are gonna use Bluetooth anyway thank you guys for watching this has been flick 5 channel don't forget to subscribe if you guys like it hit the thumbs up and don't ask me any questions because I just told you everything I know about these things. I will leave the descriptions below and the links to where you can get them on Amazon. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.
Where'd that come from? It just started playing like automatically. 